Oh, this is getting spooky. What did you just say, sir? Oh, uh, we didn't say anything. It's all right. You're like your father. You can see them too, can't you? Oh, no. I've been babbling in my sleep since I was a child. It's nothing to worry about. Poor girl is scared out of her wits. Of course, sir. Sorry, sir. My father. What did he think he saw? It ain't my place to say, sir. Well, he's dead, though. But I... Go on. Begging your pardon, sir. You should go. This place, it drove your father mad. Drove him? Did he say what or whom he saw? I'm sure I don't know, sir. Best not push her too hard. She's scared enough of me already. Sorry, I didn't get your name. It's Ailsa, sir. Ailsa Cranon. That's a oh, pretty name. And Master Andrew asks if you would join him in the library. After breakfast, of course. Thank you, Miss Cranon. Get a hold of yourself, David. I assumed I just had to, like, stay there. It's too low? Really? I'm about to peek. Is anybody the else the apparitions what drove having really low audio? Castle when he was young? Were they what drew him back? He must have found something. Like, I'm, like, exposed. on the edge of peeking. Nobody else saw the boy or the old man who looked like my grandfather, Edward. But it felt real. More even than the daydreams that plagued my childhood. I don't remember ever seeing that man. I can turn up the game audio, though. A faded memory, perhaps? As far as I know, I've never been to this castle before. Hold up. One second. Let me... Let me tweak. Okay, let me know. I turned it up a little bit. Elsa knows more than she wants to tell me. Let me know if that's better. Oh. Wait, could I always open this box? Oh, right, this is the candle box, never mind. Okay, so Ailsa knows something. Nope. Who is the boy? I found out what Ailsa knows. Okay. Um. Is it better now? I turned both of them up. Aye, and once you're done in the kitchen, go and clean up the cellar. The spiders have made a nest down there. A big one, too. They're Gross. crawling everywhere. Uh, Master David, nice of you to grace us with your presence. Rude. I appreciate your patience. I've had the staff prepare some of the finest Scottish delicacies for you. Black pudding, haggis, scrambled eggs with deer brain, and bacon. Haggis. Mother was never a fan of dishes made from entrails. In this case, she'd be missing out. I shot the deer myself in the local Has woods. anybody ever had haggis before? I never have, but that was delicious. It's, uh... Thank you. 
I'm sure our There's local a place that specialities must I go. It's like a Scottish place that has raised as you were. It has it on the menu. I I've was never raised in India. My spectrum of peculiar has quite a range. I've never tried it though. <laughs> Eat well, stay healthy. Is it raining outside? Elsa knows more about my father than she dares tell me. I'd better earn her trust now. She might return to the village once the weather clears. Hmm. Elsa knows more about my oh. father than she dares tell me. I'd better earn her trust now. She might return to the villa. Okay. Well then, let's go find her. Smoking a pipe. I thought that would be beneath her station. Let's go have a chit-chat. Uh, Lady Margaret. David. May I first apologize for my strange behavior last night? It's just that... Uh, think nothing of it. You are obviously tired from your travels. Least said, soon is mended. I don't want to give her another reason to think me mad. Oh. Uh, this may seem like an unusual question. I'd be surprised if it wasn't, dear boy. Have I ever been here before? Is it possible I visited as a child and can no longer remember? Oh no, you are a stranger to these walls. Mm. And I have a feeling you prefer it stayed that way. <laughs> uh, what kind of man was my grandfather? Oh, he was magnificent. He was handsome, so handsome. And caring. Caring enough to knock a defenseless child down the stairs. Yeah. All was so very different when he was around. The maid. She seemed to be acting strangely, like she was frightened of me. Yes, well, she's a simple sort, that one. She has probably heard of the curse of the Gordons the locals like to whisper about. I'd like to curse. hear about that. What curse? Yeah. Just a peasant superstition. I would guess she was worried you'd show the same displays of unpredictable violence as your father did. I never knew my father to be the violent type. Mm -hmm. Oh, there are many things you do not know about your father. This is his doing. Dare to what? explain? But, but how? Wait, what did he do? I'd rather not discuss it, David. And that maid Is it should like really a... keep her mouth shut and locate the earring she lost. She's like a magpie with shiny, expensive I things. found it. I shall take my leave, Lady Margaret. I'm not going to tell her about it. Yes. I'm curious to see if I could possibly use the earring because we found it in literally that fire um i'm curious to see if we could maybe use it for like leverage or something <sighs> okay where <laughs> where's the maid It kind of feels like I'm playing Clue. Just want to make sure there's nothing. Mm, we've already examined that before. Okay, yeah, nothing, nothing of interest here. Can you like tell me where she is? Yes, Master David. You've worked for we'll the family all, all your life. Yes, Master David. Save my time serving in Swaziland. You served in South Africa. That's cool. Oh, indeed, sir. During the Boer War, but Sir Edward intervened, and I was able to return unharmed from that most futile conflict. Oh. May I ask, the maid, she seems nervous, almost afraid of me. 
She's afraid of everything. You don't think much of her? I do not, sir. And, if I may be so bold, one of Lady Gordon's earrings has gone missing. You suspect the maid? Not my place to say, Master David. Yet I think you just did so. Yeah. Uh, how many staff are there? Nowadays, only myself, the maid, and Rory the gardener. I suppose you could include the lawyer, too, if that is work. Not many for such a big house. If you felt like hiring more staff, I would not complain, sir. But of course, not everyone is suited to work in this house. Mm. Well, good day to you. Indeed, sir. Okay. I'm keeping the earring stuff to myself. I really don't like how I keep getting stuck on the pots. Wait. A sign of modernity. Oh, it's a phone. In ancient houses like this. Okay. Uh, I think this is the kitchen. That might be a good spot. No. Okay. Yep, there she is. Uh, Miss Cranon? Did you ever talk to my father? I was serving here when he... That is to say, I... There's blood. Go on, please. I didn't think it'd be proper, sir. Lady Margaret said... Oh, sorry, sir, I must get on with my work. She's as scared of Margaret as she is of the butler. Mm. Poor girl. Isn't that used for transporting cooked food? Why is there blood in it? Ugh, the wee scunner thought it would be funny to put one of his dead beasties in it to fear me. He should keep them in the cellar and... Sorry, sir. I'm speaking out of turn. Okay. Um, you said my father saw things. I don't want We should to go check out the it, cellar. Sir. I noticed the attic door is locked. You'd best ask Angus, sir. I hardly go up there. Angus is the Did I mention of the butler. Fighter? What is in there? I think you may have lost this. Let's try and befriend her. Oh, sir! Oh, thank you, sir. I only wanted to see how it looked in the mirror. I didn't mean to. I was scared to tell her ladyship. Oh, she can have such a temper. What are you going to do now? Uh, if I can sneak it into the salon, maybe her ladyship will think she lost it there herself. From what I know about her, I very much doubt her ladyship will. Yeah. What happened to my father here? I'm sorry, sir. You're not like the rest of them here. Oh, sir, there's things you should know, but I really need this job. She knows something. But how can I convince her to trust me? Would you like me to escort you to the cellar? Wouldn't be proper to ask the owner of the house to do that, sir. Well, I'm not the owner yet. And you didn't ask. True. Very kind of you, sir. Happy to help. I'll let you know when I'm ready to accompany you down there. I shall leave you to your work. Okay. Um Shall we? <laughs> he just moonwalked. <laughs> you saw that, right? <laughs> Spideys. Okay. Oh, fuck. That's a lot of blood. <sighs> I 
How cruel of Mr. McKinnon to send her down here alone. It is quite creepy. Harsh as it may seem, a proper serving of fire is the only way to get rid of such a widespread infestation. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see what we can find down here. Harsh as it may seem, a proper serving of fire oh. is the... This is as close as I get. Otherwise, I'll have them crawling all over me. I have to find a way to eliminate them altogether. Hmm. I see. All right. Raw spirit. Not particularly palatable, but good for cleaning and magic tricks. Okay. The water of life. Some of these whiskeys are from local distilleries. Looks fresh. Uh, Master Eddie's work. He and Mr. McKinnon put it here earlier. Poor beastie. Eddie? Another family member yeah. I to meet. Ooh, a lot of blood for just one animal. Oh, it's a big animal. <sighs> Not the most hygienic workstation. Hmm. Hmm, a hunting map. Looks like they've been poaching outside the Gordon estate. Okay. So How do I suppose? Oh, I can just do it now. Now that I have Step the liquor. Step right up, sir. What are you? <gasps> Hell yeah! Oh my! Oh, that's amazing. Uh, does that not hurt? <laughs> no, a little trick I learned in India. <laughs> okay, that's kind of awesome. What the fuck? Sorry, did that scare you, Elsa? That's Eddie. I didn't think. Huh. And you are? Edward Malori. You may call me Edward the Third. So this is cousin Eddie. He seems. Spoken. Welcome to my castle. Your as castle. As the rest of them. My castle indeed. You've lived here all your life, so you would have met my father. Only after he lost what marbles he had left. If it were up to me, I'd have locked him up in the loony bin a bit sooner. Wow. Locked him up? The fuck? Pleased to meet you, Eddie. So, your parents would be my aunt and uncle Clara and Victor. Are they... Dead. Dead as door nails, the pair of them. Lovely. So what are you doing down here anyway? There's a line between honesty and rudeness that cousin Eddie doesn't seem to recognize. I was helping Miss Cranon. Oh, Why didn't you ask me? Excuse me, sir. Sirs. I really have to go. Leaving wow. so soon? Uh, was it something I said? Yeah. It was. They all tend to act like that in the presence of nobility. Cause you you're said something. Jackass. About a loony bin? I did. Oh. Oh. You don't know. Well? Well, never you mind. I have an animal to prepare. I'm getting very tired of everyone in this house <laughs> avoiding my questions. Same. There's something you should know, sir. Something important. I overheard them talking, and I... Uh, you're paid to work, not chat. Get to it, girl. Sorry, Mr. McKinnon. Library after dinner. At last. 
I might get some answers. Thank God. If the old man I saw was really my grandfather Edward, then the boy must be. I need to find out if that really was him I saw. Hmm. Okay. So if I need to meet up with her in the library after dinner, um, how can I go about like triggering that? I mean, this is this is the library, so that's good. Oh, I can examine this. David, apologies for not being here to greet you. As the telephone in the castle is not working due to the recent storm, I have had to journey to the village to communicate with my office. Mm. Upon my return, I shall show you to the chapel where you can pay your respects to your father. Yours, Andrew Harrison. Or maybe I'll just head to the chapel myself, just as soon as the weather clears. Yeah, we read a note about going to the chapel for answers. It's labeled Mallory. Perhaps another client of Mr. Harrison. Let's snoop. We didn't actually get to, like, examine. Oh! Let's see if my trusty key will get this open. <sighs> Not like this. Okay, okay, okay. Um. <sighs> Not like this. There's only two. <sighs> Not like There's this. only two moving parts, which doesn't make sense to me. Oh shit, wait. Maybe I don't have all the parts yet. Maybe I don't have all the parts yet. Because there's like that little part right at the bottom. That kind of looks like maybe I could put a third part on. Um, no, that's the kitchen. Sitting, sitting room is downstairs? God, I hope so. Is this the sitting room? Oh my god. I already looked at this, but this I'll- will make it easier to carry. The boy. It must be. <sighs> but I need to be sure. Perhaps the names are on the back. <sighs> Grandfather Edward. Just as he looked last night. My family. Yet they're all still strangers to me. Lady Margaret. She looks happy. I can't imagine her smiling like that these days. What's this? Looks like it's drawn in blood. I hate that you have to touch every single goddamn thing, even if you've already touched it. We already looked at this photo. And yet, I had to go touch it again. Oh shit. Hello? Uh, regardless of what I told Miss Cranon, these visions are like nothing I've ever experienced before. And they're getting worse.
Okay. The boy. How did he provoke Edward into throwing him down the stairs? Great, so... Now can I... Oh, can I go talk to Lady Margaret? She's not here. Maybe? I know, I'm terrible with directions in this game. I mean, I'm terrible with directions, period. But... This game feels particularly uh, difficult. Lady Margaret? We'll ask yes, her about the photo. David. I saw an old photograph of a boy in the other room. Something tells me she wouldn't be happy if she knew I had it in my pocket. Ah, that was taken in 1894. Young Johnny, your father. You can remember the exact year. It's a funny thing when you reach my age. You can remember dates from decades ago. Mm. But not what you had for breakfast. Maybe others can't. Um, who, may I ask, were the others in the picture? That would be your Aunt Clara and your late great-grandmother, the last true Countess of Scarhandu House. And my dear Edward, of course. I uh, noticed my father had a scar on his face. How did that happen? <sighs> Falling from a tree, perhaps? I can't recall. But your father was a clumsy child. Or getting pushed down can't the stairs. Recall. But you remember the date the photograph was taken? Mm hmm. I shall take my leave, Lady Margaret. Yes. Okay. Can I go outside now? Please. <laughs> I would like to go outside. Yeah! <laughs> Fucking hell. <sighs> oh, that's the Finally chapel. Some fresh air. Master David. Thank you for sending love you to our mods. Me. Your footsteps. I can the walk of everyone here. Well, that's what's rather incredible. Aye, that it is, laddie. That it is. I hear better than most. See more than most and all. Father had a similar toolbox. Back when he still fixed things around the house. When you talked about what they did to my father, what did you mean? He shouldn't have come back. You cannot go through what he did as a bairn and no be sick. Mm. So his hospitalization was justified then? Not for me to say. Before you think of putting down roots here, you should think on what the poison groom here did to your father. You can? No, not really. If you don't mind, this door will no mend itself. Okay. I'll leave you to it then. Wait. Probably didn't look much better before the storm. All right, we gotta go touch everything now. It must be hard to look after the plants when you can barely see them. Ooh, a car. Steady enough, vessel. 
If you trust your swimming skills. <laughs> so, not sturdy. Got it. <laughs> oh, where am I going? Oh. Okay. No, 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 no. So that does a big loop. Right. Unless there was somewhere else I could go. Let's find out. I just wanted to make sure I can... Oh, there's an X on that rock. Can you go to the spot that you saw the boy at in the painting? That's some big brain shit I right can see there. Why Rory likes this place. This view should ease even the most troubled soul. Okay, we've done everything now. <laughs> Okay, I've touched everything, so... Uh, I think it was like, uh, it was by a tree and gravestones, so I think it was that tree actually. Nobody left to mourn the dead or care for their graves it seems. It was right here, wasn't it? I've seen this before. In the painting. This is the grave I, I saw in that waking dream or whatever it was. The grave my father buried something in as a boy. Who's buried here? If I could just... Ah, these vines are too thick. I need something to cut through these. Well... I guess... We... Walk. Thank you. <laughs> I guess we'll... Go check out the tools... That the maintenance guy had? The gardener had? Um, may I borrow your bolt cutter? Maybe. If I can what you need it for. Shit. I told you I want them. That's all you need to know. Is it no? Let me tell you this, son. Your name may be on some scrap of paper someplace. But this here belongs to Lady Margaret, and always will, until it's her turn to join them in the groom. Rory's tools. A hammer, a tenon saw, a bolt cutter. All a bit rusty, but in good order. So... Um... Can I has? May I borrow your bolt cutter? Maybe. The graves. I would like to tidy them up. <laughs> That way I can pay my respects properly. Is that a fact? Why is that then? They are my family. They deserve to be remembered. Oh, fair enough, laddie. Just grab it yourself. Oh. Uh, is it... Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hello. All right, let's go do this. Apparently my sass isn't getting me anywhere. I can barely see the graves. I have to like walk around them too. Okay.
Let's see whose grave this is. Another piece of the castle model. Hey. Another part of the model. And it's stained with what seems to be old blood. Uh. Why did father bury this when he was a child? How could I have known that something was buried here? I don't remember father ever telling me about this grave. Mm -hmm. Father must have buried the chapel piece here for a reason when he was a boy. But why? And whose blood is it stained with? Mm. I don't know. Are we just going to walk around with bolt cutters now? Bolt. Okay, let's go in the chapel. Magical back pockets. Yup. Father, I hope you found your peace. Were you sick, like they say you were? Or the victim of this, this curse? This curse of the Gordons? <sighs> Whatever it is. I think you may have passed it on to me. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. Okay, we can't walk there. The place is crumbling. Not the safest spot to pray. Oh, um, no. Not exactly. Being the chronicle of the family Gordon, as laid down by Sir Drummond Gordon, the year of our Lord, 1413. Local legend speaks of this particular glen as being inhabited from time immemorial. Enigmatic, elaborately carved pectish stones stand as timeless evidence of this. As for the locals, they appear prideful of the counsel they delight in giving to visitors. Traveler, beware. The Celtic peoples arrived in this place like a great beast bringing with them the bloodlines that would eventually spawn the Gordon clan. Using their superior numbers, knowledge, and machines of war, they swiftly conquered the primeval Picts. With them, they brought to their religion and druid clerics. The magics these wise men used did shape forever the lands, even until this present day. It is said that the sempiternal burden our family carries rose at that time. It is well recorded how the Empire of Rome did fail to tame the wayward Scots, that they did even raise a barrier to protect their mighty empire. What is seldom told is the truth behind their defeat. Our ancestors drew upon ancient powers to aid their victory, powers not easily fathomed by the fragile human mind. This aid did come at the greatest of costs. A debt as yet unsettled. A price we will continue to pay until the last Gordon passes to dust. Oh. For the centuries, we Gordons made the land our own. Others did bow to us as we kept the secrets of Skahandu, the secrets of the Black Mirror. Even as tragedy and madness did fester in our foundations. We held fast and steered the land through vile English attack and worse. In time, the Gordons and the land became one. Some pages have been ripped out. 
The only thing left seems to be some kind of family oath. Mm. In blood we are bound to the land we protect, to the truths we alone may conceal. I shall forfeit my life. Lest my clan should suffer, I shall forfeit my spirit to hold the darkness at bay. In blood we are bound till the day of the reckoning. What are you? Where is the call coming from? Uh oh. I think so. Excuse me? Is this what madness feels like? It can't be real. Uh oh. to show me is she oh that's a body I mean this game does deal with the occult so a divination tool isn't exactly the strangest What? How could I have known this? <laughs> Apparently that wasn't good. Place. Okay, I guess I have to... I'll go zoom Beam. through this. Uh, the Celtic... You... What? That is... It is what... Oh, this... Or... In, some... In, to the... Tr I... Lest... I... Folklore is kind of amazing. I agree.
Wait, I can't save? Oh. That's annoying as hell. Well then, you must have really liked like the Call of Cthulhu as well. This feels like it could be. Okay, so what did I miss? I'd I'd rather not die again. All this looks like the bottom of a lake. I mean, that's actually what I like reading as well, like folklore stuff. Like, regardless of it's whether it's like real or not, that's what I prefer to read anyway. Okay, so what did I miss? She's not holding a baby, but some heavy object to weigh herself down. I don't know what I'm supposed to do from up here. Uh, about Norse and Finnish folklore, thing of your heritage piece by piece since so much has been lost over the generations. That's awesome. There we go. I'm taking my baby with me to save it from this rotten family. Oh, find my child. When did, did you, you uh, did start you your collection uh, she, uh, of all of your books? Drowned. Calm down, you're in shock. What were you doing clambering about in here? <laughs> oh, if I told you, 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 you'd think me mad. Odd. That is just what your father said to me. Yeah. You knew, knew my father. <laughs> How? What? I treated your father at the asylum. I'm Dr. Leah Farber. Oh. The asylum? Let's get you back to the castle and make sure you're okay. Well then. She's trying to help, dude. What did you come here for? I'm not sure your father's story is finished yet. And there are some things I still need to make my peace with. Mm. Okay. What's this about an asylum? As I said, your father was admitted. Why? Who did that to him? I did. But unfortunately, he managed to escape. What? 
Hold on a minute. How dare you come in here and... Told you. Your father was a madman. A complete and utter madman. Don't mind me. Please continue. It's a little hard to m not mind you. Well, what right did About you have to lock my okay. father up in a, in a madhouse? I was his doctor. I understand you are in shock, but you have no right to speak to me in such a way. I was trying to help him. He's dead. Capital job. Now, hold on just a minute. Screaming is usually not a good thing in a horror game. Also, I can't believe we died. Oh, Jesus! Oh, no! No! So much for getting our answers after dinner. Uh, okay. <laughs> Eddie. It'll be all right. Pull yourself together. I suggest nobody else goes down there. We should keep the room intact until the police can get here. I shall alert them first thing in the morning. What an unfortunate accident. An accident? You think so? Just after the madman's son turned up at our door? And yet you were the one standing over her body with blood on your hands. How dare you! I was too late! I was trying to help her! She... She... <laughs> there, there, my sweet boy. Let's get you to bed. Angus, would you? Of course, ma'am. I think we will all benefit from a good night's sleep. I know you may have no reason to, but I need you to trust me. I'm the only one on your side when it comes to your father's death. Lady Margaret certainly isn't. But if I told you what I saw in the chapel, you'd have me in a padded cell, just mm -hmm. like my father. So, what was my father like when you locked him up? I didn't just lock him up, I tried to help him. Your father was heavily drugged when he was brought to me. It was to prevent any further violent outbursts. Also, Lady Margaret had said, but something felt wrong, even then. Why did you come here? To make sure my father was successfully in the ground? With all due respect, Mr. Gordon, I will not allow you to speak to me or about my work in such a tone. I tried everything I could to aid your father. He was convinced he was carrying some ancient curse. Oh, we that he was yeah. being haunted by evil. Uh huh. I wish I had reached him, had been able to help him. So do I. You weren't the only one who couldn't reach him. You're a persistent one, aren't you? Maybe if I threw you a bone, you'd get off my back. Mm -hmm. Father was obsessed with the history of the family for as long as I can remember. Did your father actually believe his family was out to get him? Who knows? I think what scared him was beyond the physical. He used to babble about a dark force threatening him and our family. Was that why he moved you to India? To get as far away as possible? Makes a lot of sense. I believe so. And yet, here you are, in the very place he sought to protect you from. Who knows? Well... <laughs> Maybe there is an ancient evil in this place. <laughs> Oopsie! An evil that drags us back no matter how far away we get. Even from the other side of the world. And what do you think? Was your father right? Are there things beyond the physical? I have other things to worry about right now. <laughs> Feels like a drowning woman floating in thin air. We're going to avoid if you the really question. Want to help me, I need to find out what the maid knew. What Lady Margaret and Angus didn't want her to tell me. You believe it got her killed? Yes. Maybe. 
I actually do believe that. The chapel. It has to be real. She must have drowned herself down at the loch. Because if it's all in my mind, like father, like son, 